Hey everyone, it's me, Bullish Plays here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, as you guys can obviously tell, I'm in a different server. Today, I'm in Mineville for one particular reason. I have been requested several times to try out their prison server, and for me, this is the most perfect time to do so because me and Lifeboat are no longer seeing eye to eye. Whenever I hop on that server, I can't rock my Bullish Plays skin. I keep having lag issues. Just there's so many issues with Lifeboat that I just want to take a break from it, and here we are in Mineville. I know Mineville is not exactly the most popular server on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, but I want to give this Mineville prison a try, and I want to compare it to Lifeboat prisons, and already, I'm just gonna say it, aesthetically, this looks amazing. I mainly love it because it actually looks like a prison and you know, we're playing Mineville prisons. So this is such a perfect aesthetic to it. Besides lifeboats take where, you know, assumingly if you arrive as a prisoner on a boat, that's how I always took it and you just have to work on the island. This is a legit prison. And I see a few things that just caught my eye. So we have a minion miner. So, you know, the mini prison miner on lifeboat prisons. See how much does this cost here? I need to get the prisons pass first. Okay, well, Right off the bat, I'm just going to tell you, I absolutely love it here. Mainly because it's cheaper. On Lifeboat, it's $4.99. On here, it's $1.99. So I'm obviously going to go ahead and buy it because I have enough mine coins for it. And now I officially have a Mineville Prison Pass. Now, how much does the Minion Miner cost? 20 bucks? Are you serious? But it's lifetime though. But wow, 20 bucks. That's, that's a lot. Lifeboat's Mini Prison Miner is way better in price. I believe it's not even like... I think it's like $7.99 if that. What is this? The Creeper Bomb. 16 bucks for this. Are you serious? So for the Creeper Bomb, the description is, this is the ultimate way to get gold. Activate a Creeper Bomb, which will fill up the entire mine with creepers, then destroy the entire mine. You will receive gold as if you destroyed the entire mine yourself. Now that is interesting. So there's gold. So if you destroy the whole entire mine yourself, you just get it, I'm assuming here. I'm just looking on the right hand side. So Mineville Prison, obviously on mine A, you know, grade A. Gold, zero, because I have never played on here before. Next level, it says a thousand. I'm curious if that's like a thousand gold or like, is there XP levels? And team unlock mine C. Now for team unlock, I'm very curious about that. Okay, now the TNT pickaxe, this looks pretty cool. I'm curious how much this costs, five bucks. Wow, apply TNT enchant on your pickaxe. This will allow you to explode your way through the mines and gather resources faster. Okay, I will look into this in the future. I like that. That's that's a really reasonable price for it. Fire pickaxe, interesting. This is eight bucks. So relatively the same price as the minion prison miner. Relatively the same price for the mini prison miner on lifeboat prisons, as well as the prison TNT. Fire enchant, the description says, apply fire enchant on your pickaxe. This will burn an entire line in the mine. Mine blocks faster, one line at a time and gather resources to level up. Now that is very interesting. These two I like because of the prices. These two are really expensive. I don't know why they would do that. Well, I mean, they're making their money with that most probably than the Mineville Prison Pass because the Mineville Prison Pass is only two bucks. Now, I didn't really check out what the Prison Pass has in store, so I'm just gonna go over here and we're gonna go check that out. The Prison Pass description reads this. It's prison time. Enter prison and mine your way to escaping. Same take as Lifeboat Prisons. Take on these crazy mines to gather resources, sell them, and then buy your way to the next mine. Each mine you go gives you better material, so keep mining. When completed, get a free miner costume. No, I like that. There is nine mines to conquer and exclusive game mode. Wow. So essentially you just spent two bucks on a free costume. I like that a lot. So here we are in mine A. It's like the same fill as lifeboat. I will say that right now. Honestly, I'm doing everything as a comparison. I'm just, just really curious to see how things work out. Well, that was really weird. So cobblestone is two gold each. I like I have little eyes. Coal is four gold each. Special pickaxes, pickaxe upgrades. I like this a lot. Purchase pickaxes uh, for a diamond. Holy, a diamond pickaxe here is 250,000 gold. Now that is a grind. You know what? I'm gonna try to work for a stone pickaxe, but honestly today's just to get the fill. Enchantments, unbreakable. Enchanted pickaxe that you own. So there's efficiency five here. Now that's nice. In lifeboat, you can only go efficiency three, but here you can go efficiency five. That's 500 gold. Wow, that's... <laughs> Holy, this is actually gonna be a grind grind here. Do you actually get legit coal here? Wow, now that's interesting. Well, that was kind of awkward. My Minecraft just crashed on me. So we're gonna see what happens when you load back into the Mineville prison. Okay, cool. So my inventory is still there. My pickaxe is brand new. It was like zero durability even used on it. So now thinking about it, if I buy a diamond pickaxe, does it do the same thing as this where I can use it in the mine? And if I leave and come back, it'll be just another brand new pickaxe. So to get a stone pickaxe, which is the main goal of today's video, I have to get 125 pieces of coal. So essentially, 
I gotta get two stacks. That's gonna be my goal. Oh, this is real nice compared to lifeboat. The ladder is actually part of the of the border. Like they actually put it an extension for it instead of just straight on and lose part of the mine. You actually just got a perfect square here. Oh, that's interesting. So I can't mine while I'm crouched here, huh? Oh no, my pickaxe broke. Okay, this is really interesting. So if I just left click this or right, okay, right click it over here, just right click it. So now I have 128 gold purchase pickaxes. So it broke, so I have to get another one. But how do I do that? Oh, this is confusing. So if I just leave the area and come back, would I have it? All right, so I guess I just have to go back to the hub and just come back to get another pickaxe in my inventory because this is really confusing. <laughs> well, that answers my question. I got my wooden pickaxe right back, but still, how come I can't get a replacement one right off the back? If you guys are enjoying today's video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new as I'm on my road to 2000 subscribers. Just wow, the big 2K and I cannot wait for it. There's actually a lot of coal in this mine. All right, I'm getting really close to a stack, but my pickaxe is close to breaking, which is uh, kind of worrisome as I don't want to leave the server and come back again. There's got to be a better way to get this pickaxe back. And if you guys know how, leave a comment down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. Just like on my Lifeboat Prison series, if you guys have any helpful tips to help me out on Mineville Prisons, make sure to leave them down below. I really wanted to get a stack before this pickaxe breaks, but I don't even think I'm going to get that. And there goes my pick. I'm not using my hands at all because that's going to be so tedious. Boom. We're really close to getting a stone pickaxe. But sadly, I have to leave this prison and come back. And we're back in prison with a brand new pickaxe. Man, this is going to be very annoying. That's all I'm going to say. We're really close to getting my stone pickaxe. And if that's the case, I want to see how that goes. So we're going to break it here and then hope that I can get a replacement right off the bat. If not, it's fine. What? Interesting. So the mine just refills itself after a while because I was just mining my own business. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> clever joke. Am I right, guys? Hey, you know what? If we get a stone pickaxe, I could possibly grade up this episode. A few moments later. Okay, what do I have now? How many more pieces do I need? Uh, oh, exact change. So let's upgrade our pickaxe. Let's get a stone pickaxe now. But since I have the upgraded pickaxe, I'm just really curious to see if it breaks and if I leave and come back, it will still be there or I have to keep grinding and buying new pickaxes every time from this lovely pickaxe upgrade person. That is the main goal now, honestly, is just to see what would happen. Oh. Darn, my pickaxe broke. Well, that answers my question. As soon as you upgrade the pickaxe, that's forever your pickaxe. So every time you spawn in, you get a brand new version of that pickaxe. But now what I want to do is mine till I have enough to enchant my pickaxe and then break it and see what exactly happens with that. Like, do you keep the enchant? All right, this pickaxe is going to break any time now. There we go. The pickaxe broke. I wish there was a sound effect for it, though. So I know when it breaks instead of looking down like, oh, look at that. So my stone pickaxe, I want to put, I can get efficiency too. You know what? We're going efficiency too. My pickaxe is back right away. That's pretty cool. Now it should be mining pretty quickly. Yes, I like that. Oh my, this pickaxe has done wonders for me. Well, there goes my pickaxe, which is exactly what I wanted. But look at how much I was able to mine with that efficiency to stone pickaxe. Just one, two, three, four, five, six stacks of cobblestone with a little bit left over and nearly a stack of coal. But look at that. I can actually grade up right now. We're going to go ahead and level up. We're going to go to mine B. Look at that. Village Club 5 has advanced to mine B. The little zombie guy right there scared me. Now, what do we have here? Do I have iron up in here just chilling? Well, yes, I do. Look at that, guys. The iron ignit. Well, might as well minus by hand. I'm kind of curious to see if it does give you an ignit. Don't steal it from me. I worked for this. But now I'm actually going to go to the hub, return, and see what happens to my pickaxe. Oh, darn. 
Now that sucks. I don't have my enchanted pickaxe anymore. Now I'm actually kind of confused. I thought since I enchanted it, I'll keep the enchant. But since I'm here, might as well mine all this iron while I can. Well, this first level alone, look how much iron I got out of it. Which is just going to be really easy money. Look at that. I already have 920 gold. So if my pickaxe was to break in here, I can't buy it again. All right, this is really confusing. So when your pickaxe breaks, you just got to deal with it. Might as well have a Majesty 5 pickaxe for the next episode. Ah, okay. So I'm just assuming when my stone pickaxe breaks, my enchanted one or just a regular one, if I buy another enchanted one, it'll just pop up my inventory just like that. If that's the case, that's kind of annoying. But on the bright side, I have a... A yeah, fish C5 pickaxe, which just makes life so much easier. I mean, look at this. But I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and hit those notifications so you guys will never miss an upload or stream. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Mindville Prisons.